All right, hello everyone. This is Mei Chen from China, based in Shenzhen. I'm the founder of Cosme Citizens, uh, one of the fastest growing women empowerment platforms in China. And also, Cosme Citizens is a partner of Caracas in China. Today, I'm the chair of this panel of Women Cultivating Peace in Time of Wars. Also, I'm the co-chair of the Youth Leadership Committee of the Global Corporate Social Responsibility Foundation. And it's my great honor today to have two great guests, Zoe Yuan from Singapore and uh, Eden Chu from Taiwan. Well, welcome to join us in this very special time. I, I cannot imagine when was the last time I was even discussing war with my peers. But today, this is a very crucial time for us, for women leaders, to talk about how we can bring peace in times of war. And today, recognizing the importance of women in leadership and a critical role that women must play in efforts to promote stable and lasting peace in paramount in our world today, especially against the backdrop of the current war in Europe. Women, we are opposed to cultivate tense relationship among families, industries, and nations, leading with strength, fierce compassion, and trust. So here we're here to discuss why are women a distinct minority in the uppermost uh, echelon? How can women shape a new, peaceful, and inclusive world? I would love to discuss this topic with my peer, Zhou Yuan and Eden Chu. And now I would like to introduce uh, our guest, Eden Chu from Taiwan. She's the CEO of Shanghai Interpret Dog and Network Technology and there's also a few other companies too. In the meantime, she's also a very famous e-commerce speech consultant in uh, Southeast Asia, Malaysia, Hong Kong, etc. She has also traveled to 10 countries, 30 cities, Asia, to make more than 1,000 lectures, lighting up the lives of over 10,000 people. At the same time, she also has a bestseller book called Reversal Wings, 28 years old to be a US dollar millionaire. So it's my great honor to have you here today, Eden. And also at the same time, I would like to introduce uh, my great friend and also my mentee, Zoe Yuan. She's the founder of Shanghai Zoe Wellness uh, Education Technology Company, also a certified master nutrition coach. Actually, I have also learned a lot from her about managing my energy and also my time, etc. She's also the consultant of Puma Running Camp. She has over 10 years of wellness and running uh, advocates in multinational bank. She also a uh, bank representative for One Young World Summit. Today is my great honor to have both of you. All right, so now I would like to give the stage to both of you. Let's start with Eden. The stage is yours. Uh, what are you going to share with us? What is your topic today? Um, okay. Uh, thank you for me to uh, introduce me. And hello, everyone. Uh, my, the topic I want to share today is uh, a word to re-understand the status of women in the era. Okay. Um, actually, uh, the, the topic, Disney, um, I think the Disney said, word is the symbol of typic and uh, woman bodies inside and out become men's better fights and women have no value after they are separated from men. We are object and as long as there is war, women will still live in danger amount. In the past, it was said that the world made women go away and sacrifice. But today, we want to talk about the other side. In reality, including the historical importance of women in wars. And there are women in every World. Although they are valuable in war, they are okay. They are no longer weekly. Even with the uh, purposes of war, the tradition of re re rejecting women's participation in the military have been shelved and ignored. Women in the military not only to regular cooking, sewing, and the material supply, but many women become commanders. Scots and intelligent officers, low up bridge, cut for lines, burn down, and uh, warehouses, and uh, help capture people escape. Up to now, female soldiers are even a key part of the military of the world's mainstream military powers because they are almost wiped out of the country several times and have a sense of urgency. They have no gender in the face of nation security. 
compared, compared with men, the gender advantage of woman carefulness, bravery, and strength enabled them to contribute more to the world. At the same time, their bravery and strength are not to be understand, un, understood and feared by male soldiers. For example, a woman, a war completely changed the state of women in an era. In the past world war, 1.5 billion people were involved in the war. 30 million conscious and due to the lack of labor force. At that time, British women began to work at the home emerging in all walks of life. Women build carnivals, drive trains, milk workers, postmen, placemen, firefighters. Only they did she break up from the role of women who can only be housewives. Although they worked very hard in the, in the First World War. After the war, the status of women in the UK was completely changed. They won the right to vote for women and they also saw women's diversity and potential equality. In the end, we don't want a world war to happen, but let us see that women and men have the same importance. The above is my sharing. Thank you all. Thank you, May. Okay. Thank you so much. That's, that, that's, I, well, I would say this is a very, um, very important uh, opinion shared from you that we definitely need to see the status of women in the time of war. Actually, we can contribute to bring peace, to even to bring uh, harmony into different relations between industries, between families, and uh, at this such a critical time. I have a question for you. Uh, we will save it for later. Now let's welcome uh, Zoe to share your topic. Thank you, May. Thank you, Eden. Um, I will share my view in this topic, uh, more starting from a building piece. Um, it couldn't, it doesn't matter if it's big or, or small. First of all, may I raise a very stupid question? Who want to live in peace? If I can see a lot of people in person, I believe there will be a lot of raising hands. Of course, we all want to live in a peaceful world. Mm -hmm. I don't want to argue with my mom or my husband. I don't want to fight against a person instead of a disease. But of course, I don't want any disease either. And lastly, I truly don't want to see wars in my entire life and generation after us. Why does it matter to ask for people's preference? Why do you, what do you want? Why is that question very important? It is important as want, make it happen. Want to create willingness. That's the beginning of all our actions. Regardless of the recent war in Europe or what happened in history in the world, majority of the ones on the front lines are male in the past. Um, as Eden pointed out, nowadays more women are actually leading the position the majority of the ones on the front lines are male and women and kids. Sometimes they might be seen as ones being protected, might be pitiful or weak. Similarly, in a large organization, it is common that women are a distinct minority in the boardroom and it's easy to just follow the norm and think, um, why don't I just sit back? But wait, I think, I think we're missing out something here. Winston Churchill has a mom and Elon Musk has a mom. We yes. learn to eat, move, speak, read, and write from our mothers since we were nobody. Mm -hmm. So women are born leaders because leaders are born from their mothers. Um, a very famous quote from the Asian Chinese wisdom I would like to share with you. Those who want to govern their country must first align the homes. Who want to, who want to unite the homes, first cultivate their bodies. Those who want to cultivate the bodies must first straighten out their hearts. First have a good heart. Cultivate peace or fight for peace is not a job just for men. It's for everybody. From every day, it is essential for all women to ensure they are healthy, happy kids at home from their childhood. So there are healthier relationships among citizens, among countries, among nations. 
people are shaped with the right value from the beginning, and they can make the right decisions when they grow up. Like Mother Teresa said, the good you do today will often be forgotten by tomorrow. But do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it might never be enough. But give your best anyway. So set a high benchmark, speak out, and be a leader, influencing peace. Just do that every day. Yeah, that's that's all I want to share. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that's that's really a great perspective to see、uh, mothers that rose、uh, in different times of、um, of our life. And I have questions for Zoe. Uh, later, and I'll, I'll, first, I'll ask a question to Eden. And you, you hold a very special position, especially uh, uh, traveling between mainland China and Taiwan. I would like to ask you, how do you see the、uh, group of LGBT contribute in such a critical time?、Uh, during we are not facing war in Asia, luckily, but Europe is not that far. Russia is not that far. So, how do you see the Your community contribute to、uh, bringing peace back to our time.、Um, thank you. Thank you, me to、uh, to talking about this、uh, interesting question. And actually, I've never been in the world, so it's really、uh, after Thanksgiving for this.、Um, but for this topic, I actually the, I have some experience for.、Uh, Loving with the girls and sometimes to、um, like some boys in the past. And、uh, when I when I、um, when I to try to get the、uh, relationship to be better and better. So I'm going to and、uh, I'm sometimes I'm research for this topic and I'm going through the process of girls and I feel that the human rights and the right the, are actually a long a long road. Marriage between and the woman and woman has come a long way to、uh, get the right to marriage and the free love.、Uh, in fact, whether is is a war or fighting or or for LGBT people, I think it is the same road. The same is the long time and the lots of people they have to fighting some rights.、Uh, in the past, many units held activities produced.、Uh, Uh, book, uh, books, new media,、uh, publish、yeah. some books and article,、um, mm-hmm. or pass many historical events, and the final one, human rights. A lot of countries, yes. So、uh, I believe that the same experience, and we can use the same way to let many people to understand this issue. And、uh, I believe in the future. Uh, I think it's quickly can let other people to know, either even LGBT, the wars,、uh, the women's rights.、Uh, I I think it can be、um, better, yeah, in the future. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. Even、uh, we're talking about during the war of time, how women we can bring peace back to the world. Uh, or we talk about LGBT community. It's all about human rights. Right,、yes. we deserve it. We deserve peace. We deserve a great life for everyone, and we 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 want to contribute to that. Thank you so much. And I I also have a question for Zoe. Um, you talk about mother, the roles for women in the family, in different industries, or even in different times、uh, of history. And how do you see women that contribute to、uh, bringing the peace back during the war times? That's a that's a good question to warn me. Also remind me what I can do. And、um, I would say there will be people who are fortunate or unfortunate, who are close to the wall, who will be able to involve, to get more involved and contribute more. For、yeah. those, the most important thing for me, because I have three years old girl, I would、mm-hmm. say to really help the kids to reduce the trauma and impact. On kids and the community to really help the local not to be impacted. That's why I, that really speaks to me. And secondly, like create peace, create some space for emotional connectedness over the internet.、Um, yeah. That involves people feeling like to connect with one person or in another country. And some would term this as empathy. Have some empathy and connect 
over the internet and support people who are in need, although we are not, like, we are distance away. And thirdly, yes. for the long run, I, I truly believe education is the key to a peaceful future, to, to growth, yes. to creative life yes. for all human. So that's, yes. that's my way of, I will really advocate for education and wellness for emotional and physical health so that everyone can yeah live a much better future that's yes. why i feel wow. i really love that thank you so much because most time when people talk about uh a coach wellness they think of um great health and you know they, they really ignore that part of emotional health like how you have empathy for yourself for others to have compassion for yourself and others etc and to have com compassion for strangers for people you, you in Ukraine and for the people in uh, Russia. Above all, people deserve human rights to live a great life they truly deserve. Well, thank you so much to both of you. Do you have a question for each other? And this is a critical time. We, 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 we dream and aim to bring um, more women on this platform of harassment and also to have people heard, especially women. So feel free to ask questions to each other or if you have any. I have a question for Eden. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, what's, yeah, what's your plan um, to help women to grow or live the life they would like in 2022? Yeah, what's your current plan? Mm, you mean just for a uh, woman, right? Not for yeah, women. women. Right, just for women, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. I think the first one, actually, I, I follow the May to study, and I think she's really the mm, incredible woman and have a lot of uh, knowledge. Yeah, so follow the, the May to uh, to learn mm -hmm. and build something together. Yeah, I think it's, it's cool. It's the first one to, to learn a lot of mm, successful people. Yeah, and uh, the second one, I oh uh, actually, how can I say, I don't know. Okay, like streaming, streaming. Oh, streaming. Yeah, streaming. Yeah. 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 And uh, one time for for week uh, to say something. Maybe in the past of five years, I uh, successful experience. I can share a lot of people. And how can I be successful? What is my knowledge? And I can for free to share a lot of people. Yes, this is the second one. And the third and the last one is uh, actually I plan to the to okay say the, the course I I build some course yeah and uh, and let lots of people they together to study and to, to plan to laughing and to have some passions for this course and uh, yes this maybe in the in the March yeah we can do together so live for this Look year. Yeah. Oh, I, I I know. And uh, and uh, I I just plan to sing a song, <laughs> record, come okay. here. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So today have a lot of news in Taiwan. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. interesting to let people know. Yeah, to use different ways. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank like you. <laughs> influencing others. Thank you. Yeah. I definitely can see that you have great um, goals to achieve. Very clear. What clear clarity is power for sure. When you have that clarity, you will be there. I hope more women can join you to dare to chase their dreams. Uh, nowadays, I really invite you all to join me just to bring back the importance of women in leadership roles, in critical roles. That um, so we can help more women to truly live a life they truly deserve. And well, so that's uh, today's topic. Um, it's my great honor to have both of you. And I hope to invite you to join to our next uh, harassment meeting. And, and we will stay in touch. I highly recommend you to join a few other panels. Actually, uh, Dr. Frank has invited uh, critical stakeholders to share the topic. Uh, their opinions uh, about the Ukraine, Ukraine war. So I highly recommend to join that. Um, that's all for today. I will stop the streaming and we can discuss offline.